we look to the future. I have something to tell you that you're going to find hard to believe. Time, time, time travel is possible. possible. And I'm going to tell you how. Einstein's theory is the core of my work, and Einstein said that time can be altered. Okay, let's pause. Dr. Ron Mallett is a retired research professor of physics at the University of Connecticut. He is an expert on Einstein's theories. So my work is based on Einstein's general theory of relativity, how gravity can affect time. And what I did was I solved Einstein's gravitational field equations for a circulating beam of laser light. Now, let's rewind. Ron's story doesn't start here, in the present. His interest in time was sparked at a young age. Now, let's take a travel back through time. I was raised in Bronx, New York. This is my mother, Dorothy, and my father, Boyd Mallet. My father was a television repairman, and I sort of always thought of my father as the television repairman to the stars. We didn't know that he had a weak heart, and he died of a massive heart attack when he was only 33 years old. It turned my world upside down, inside out. Everything became black, everything became terrible. And about a year after he died, I came across the book that changed my life, H.G. Wells' classic, The Time Machine. It said that scientific people know very well that time is a kind of space and we can move forward and backward in time just as we can move forward and backward in space. I thought, this is what I need. If I go back into the past and see him again and maybe save his life. But I knew I was going to have to know something about science. I saw a cover of a book, the second book that changed my life, Universe and Dr. Einstein. So I got the book. It was extremely rough going, but I did get the essence thought if I could understand what Einstein meant by the ways you could change time, then that might lead to the scientific possibility of a time machine. It took me on a very, very long road. Ron knew he had to get an education to achieve his dream, but he couldn't afford it on his own. So he followed in his father's footsteps and joined the service. Afterward, he was able to use the GI Bill to go to college. Eventually, I did make a breakthrough many years later in the possibility of time travel. This is my memoir. A time Traveler that talks about the journey and how my father's death led me to uh, develop the means of time travel based on using light. Ron is not the only scientist studying the possibility of time travel, but he claims all of the research is based off of Einstein's theories. I solved Einstein's gravitational field equations, which in a nutshell says that time is affected by gravity. What he meant by that is that clocks slow down the stronger gravity is. And the equation that I came up with showed that space actually can be twisted by a circulating beam of light. Each one of these levels is a laser square. And there's a number of different levels to increase the amount of twisting that we would get. And if we send a neutron through that's spinning, that will actually cause the twisting of the neutron spin. And in principle, you should be able to twist time into a loop. If you can twist it into a loop, you can go from the future back to the past. Everyone has some interest in time because they all, everyone thinks back to some thing that happened in their life that they wish they could change again. For example, in my case, I wanted to go back in time to see my father again and to try to tell him what was going to happen and maybe save his life and change what was going to happen to us. And that's an interest in time travel. And I think that that's basic, and I think it's fundamental. I think that goes back to the beginning of, of mankind. I'm not exaggerating about the importance of funding for time travel. Einstein, over 100 years ago, predicted ripples in space, and it's only been recently that they were observed, and they led to the 2017 Nobel Prize. That cost $1 billion, $100 million, and the space program. I mean, just to say, well, we want to travel to the moon, that's a statement. But in order to achieve it, it required billions of dollars. People ask me all the time, when is time travel going to happen? 
And my answer to them is when we decide that we want to give it adequate funding. It's not going to be done with a DeLorean in a garage. It's going to require teamwork, scientific advances. It's going to require funding on a large scale. For now, Ron continues his research in time travel, and he hopes that someday, in the not-so-distant future, he'll be able to complete his lifelong dream and build a working time machine. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more left field videos, check out our YouTube channel.